The dormitory? I'll tell you later. Hey, wait! Don't go anywhere! Just tell me now! Now they all think you and I are together! What on earth is going on here? There's nothing between us. Yeah, of course not! So what's the deal with the dormitory then? It was Aunt Chen who found that place. And rented it for you. You happy now? You women are impossible. You always like to invent things out of nothing! What should we get for lunch today? I don't know. Hey, Annie. I know what I said last time made you mad, so I'm here to apologize to you. <laughs> Look, I prepared a few dishes for you. You can try them. See if you like them. Wow. Ah, oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> they look delicious. You're making me feel uncomfortable. Take them away. Don't say that. Everyone's watching. Give me some face. <laughs> Try them. Please. Just take a bite. Maybe you'd be surprised. I doubt it. You've only tried one of them. Try the others too. All done. So tell me, which one is the best? This one. Yes! Why are you so excited? Wow. Thank you. Wow, thank, thank you. you, thank you. Wow. Hey, let's try it. Thank them. you. That tastes great. Where did you get it? Remember the cans Annie brought back from Pooley Island? Oh. From play? That's the one. It's great. I need a word with you. The cans you brought have something to do with Pule Island? That's right. The dish you like the best is red drumfish from Pule Island. I said you'd be surprised. But that's impossible. No trading company was interested in selling the red drumfish I bought them. That's because the canned fish was lacking flavor, but you seemed determined. So I did some research with a few friends to find out what the problem was. We changed the recipe so it was more appealing to Chinese taste buds. Then we had a processing plant produce a few samples. I'm sure your trading companies would change their minds after tasting this. But I remember you were against the idea of me pursuing this. And you believed that I'd only make the company lose face and money. So, why did you change your mind? I'm not against you. And I don't doubt your ability. I just want to protect you. But I knew that you wouldn't give up and you'd insist on this. So I'll give you my unconditional support. No matter what happens, we will get through it together. When you need help, I'll always be there for you. Thank you. Hello? I think I need to go out. Where to? I'll give you a ride. I'll collect my things. Mm -hmm. I have four or five samples with me. Is that enough? If not, I'll contact the processing plan and have them produce some more. I think it'll do, but to play it safe, it's better to have more on hand. I'll talk to them then. You want me to wait for you? No need. I'll contact you after I talk with the trading company. Mm -hmm. Thank you for the ride.
Seems you learned the truth. Why did you do this for me? Why did you use Mr. Ma to make me move into this so-called dorm? I just think you've had it really hard living in Shanghai all on your own, without a place to stay. It's not easy to find accommodation, and your budget means you have few choices. That's why I asked Mr. Ma to tell you this was a staff dorm offered by the agency and sure that the rent was low enough for you to afford. You're lying to my face. We're not strangers, but we're not close friends either. We're both fully aware of that. I guess you did this to make me move out of Dinkai's place. Yeah, I didn't want you to move out of his place. So you did all of this to manipulate me? That's not quite right. I did all this for Dinkai, not you. Tianyue. If you really care about Dinkai, you wouldn't want him to end up like Aisen. The company has rules that don't allow our crew and passengers to date. You know Dinkai's already in trouble for giving up the exam last time, and things could get worse if they found out you're living with him. I'm sure you don't want anything bad to happen to him. You're right, I don't. But you don't have to concern yourself with things between Dinkai and me. He's not your responsibility. I did the math. This is the rent I owe you. And the keys. Take them. So thanks a lot. But no thanks. So why are you still here? I was worried about you. It's hard to get a taxi. I'll drive you. All right. That area is quite nice. You have friends who live there? I know you saw Tanya leave. Hmm. I saw her storm out of the building with two suitcases, and she walked out soon after. She was staying at Dinkai's place before. You know he's going through a rough patch. So the company believes they're seeing each other, who have no other choice but to resign. He's far too soft to Arthur to ask Tanya to move out of his place. So I rented an apartment for her in her agency's name. Now she's angry with me. You did all this because you care about him. In many cases, you can't simply label someone's action right or wrong. It usually depends on how you look at it. What do you think then? Think you did the right thing? Really? I told you. I know you well. Exactly the same. Tian Yue. What are you doing here? I came to find you. Do you think I can stay in the dance studio a few days? Something bad happen? No. 
Listen, it's a long story. I, anyway, I need a place to stay. Will you help me? Here. You need to be careful living there on your own. Let's go. I'll give you a hand and walk you there. Thank you. <laughs> uh, all right. Can you keep this a secret from me? Not tell anyone? So, you mean don't tell Dinkai about this? You're a mind reader. Tenue. I'm coming in. Dinkai, thank you for letting me stay with you. I've moved out. Tia. I saw the note that you left for me. Why did you suddenly move out? I can't stay at your place forever, you know. I found a place, so I moved out. Thanks for everything. You don't have to be so polite with me. All right. Where do you live now? Send me the address. I'll go and visit you when I have time. I'll put your suitcase upstairs. Ison? Listen, I've got things to do. I have to go now. Bye. Let me help. It's fine, it's fine. No worries. I got this. What's up? Here for business? To take the exam? About Annie. I need to talk to you. What's wrong? I guess you're not aware. Annie was worried that you would end up like Eisen did. So she went and rented an apartment and at Mr. Ma's Hotel Tianyue. It was a staff dorm. She thought it would keep you out of trouble. You're saying that the place Tianyue moved to is actually rented by Annie? You didn't know this. Of course I didn't know. So has Tianyue returned to your place? She hasn't. She disappeared with all her things. Can you tell me what's going on here? Are you playing dumb with me? You really don't know Tianyue has feelings for you. You mean Tianyue likes me? Wait, tell me you know Annie's in love with you, right? Hold on. Don't change the topic. We're talking about Tianyue moving out. Why bring Annie into this and make things complicated? Because it is complicated. And you're making it so much worse, Dinkai. I finally get it. You only think of yourself. Wang Ziyang, you'd better explain yourself. Fine. I'll explain. Tianyue and Annie have fallen for you. Annie didn't want Tianyue to live with you. So she tricked Tianyue into moving out. Why are you mad about this? I've got two questions for you. 
first. How do you know Tianyue has feelings for me? The second question's more important. Come here. Closer. Do you have feelings for Annie? What? You just figured that out now? I am in love with Annie. <laughs> it's bad enough to watch the woman I love fall for another man, but it's even worse that the man she likes now is a jerk who's actually two-timing her. Wait, I'm not two-timing anyone. Do you have the evidence to back up your accusation? I had no idea what was going on between them at all. Fine, Kai. How about we talk man to man and clear this whole thing up? Sure. Tell me the truth. Which girl do you like? If it's Annie that you like, you have to be good to her and don't break her heart. But be aware of this. I'm in love with her too. As long as she's not married to you, I can still compete with you for a hand. I have that right. If only Annie had heard what you just said, she'd be moved to tears. If it's Tianyue that you like, you should go find her. Stop giving Annie the wrong idea, so she can move on and find a person she can spend her life with. The problem right now doesn't lie with me. Let's focus on you first. Listen, I've never been the real obstacle between you and Annie. If you are really in love with her, you need to make her feel how much you love her. However, if you're single, all Annie would think about is you, you know that? That doesn't matter. If your feelings for her are genuine, then you should just focus on how to win her heart with your sincerity. Ed, I wish you nothing but good luck. Stop playing innocent with me. You've probably been aware of this all along. So, I'm warning you. If you don't handle this quickly, you'll end up hurting both of these girls. I guess... You don't really care about Tianyue, right? Because if you did care about her, you wouldn't allow her to suffer like she's suffering right now. Captain, you finished all the paperwork. Mm-hmm. It's all settled. I'll leave for Britain tomorrow. <laughs> I can tell. You're looking forward to it. Yes. Thank you. Britain is my beloved home. But the ship is my home too. I'll miss you all. My family. Captain. I'll miss you very, very, very much. <sighs> Dinkai. My journey has ended, but yours has just begun. It's time to think carefully about your future. I don't quite understand what you're trying to say. It's like riding a bike. If you look at just what's under your nose, you wouldn't ride very well. You're a very competent young man, but you need to equip yourself with forward-looking vision. Don't limit yourself to daily jobs only. Challenge yourself all the time, and look at the bigger picture. Dinkai, I have faith in you. My advice is to think deeper about your job as a seaman. Look at Dreamland of the Ocean from a different perspective. Being a captain here isn't just about operations and a professional skill set. Otherwise, there's no difference between a cruise ship and a freighter. It's about the people the ship was designed for. That's its purpose. Have you ever stopped to think what it's like to be in their shoes? About that, I guess I've never thought much about it. Dinkai, you take your job seriously, especially safety, and I understand that's because of your father's death. You're an excellent chief officer, but I hope You'll be more than just a manager. You'll find synergy with the ship. If you have this kind of thinking and vision, your career will be unlimited. 
Captain. Thank you. Everything that you've just said to me, I'll remember and treasure. Blue Star, have you found anything? I've been to a few places, but failed to find any clues. This is... The report of the accident I saved. See if it can help you. You think this contains something useful? I don't know. Possibly. nephew. I followed his instructions to the library and still never got the manifest. Instead, I got kidnapped right outside the door. I did some digging on his IP address, and it's virtual. I also asked the local police to check out the video surveillance from the library. Got nothing. This guy's full of mystery. You must find out what he's after. I also think that man's suspicious. After everything that's happened and the emails he sent, don't contain any solid evidence. He's been stringing me along with vague clues from the start. Dinkai, you need to keep an eye on Eric's nephew. I followed his instructions to the library and still never got the manifest. Instead, I got kidnapped right outside the door. I did some digging on his IP address and it's virtual. I also asked the local police to check the video surveillance from the library and got nothing. This guy's full of mystery. You must find out what he's after. I came back from Macau with empty hands. I couldn't find anything about it. There's no need to continue the investigation. Perhaps the manifest from Blue Star is no longer there. The Blue Star Incident is not as simple as what they officially stated. There must be something behind the curtain. Why do you care so much about the Blue Star? If it's okay, can we meet and plan the next step? I don't want to get involved. I just want to help you. I hope you can keep it a secret. Don't expose yourself. Be careful on your own. I have to tell you something. I got a call from an old friend at the Macau Freight Insurance Company, and he said that Ding Kai is checking the manifest of the Blue Star. Ding Kai is working on that now? What did he find? I don't know. I want to know exactly what he found out. Sweetheart, like this place? It's lovely, but why are we here? Well, it's the anniversary when we started dating, right? So I've rented this place for you to transform into your own dance studio. It's a gift for this special day. Stop messing with me. I'm not. Look. What do you think? Why didn't you tell me anything about this? For something this big, you should have at least talked to me first. It must have cost a fortune to rent a place this big. What if we run out of money? So me, 
Don't be mad. Don't be mad. He didn't tell you because he wanted to surprise you. You have no idea how much time and energy he spent on the studio. There was this place that was cheaper than this one, but it was small and remote. And Aysen said that he only wanted the very best studio for you, where you can achieve your dreams. I mean, look around. All furniture, every decoration. He picked them out personally. Please don't be mad at him, okay? Sweetheart. I just wanted to give you a happy surprise. You never tell me anything. You do so many things for me, no matter what it costs you. That breaks my heart. <laughs> so, when will you two be moving in here? Seems I should move out earlier. Huh? Tianyue. Yeah? You're living here now? Yeah. I thought you moved into the staff dormitory. Uh, long story. It wasn't staff room from the beginning. And he didn't want me to stay at Dinkai's place. So she rented an apartment for me. I moved out when I found out. And I've been staying here since. I guess I will be moving here in a couple of days. Our rent will be due soon. It'll save money to live here in the studio. Oh, right, right. Living in a studio sounds like a good idea. I'll start looking for a new place right away. Hey, hang on, Terry. You can stay here with us before you find a good place. It's fine. It's not convenient. Why is it inconvenient? Just look, we have tons of space here, right? Exactly. We just need to arrange things so it can accommodate one more person. Um, it's fine. It's... It's too much Come trouble. On. You can't go to Dinkai's now, and your agency doesn't provide staff dorms. It's not easy to find a new place to stay. Just stay with us for now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's very kind of you. Then I guess I'll stay. However, I'll pay you rent. In this way, it can lessen your burden a little, right? Let's talk about it later, Just okay? Just say yes now. All right, fine. Happy? <gasps> Thank you so much. Of course. You're welcome. All right, Sumi. Don't tell Dinkai that I'm staying here, okay? Why is that? I just want to keep my distance for now. It's good for both of us. Don't dwell on it, okay? Hey, honey. Isn't Tanya such a beautiful, kind, and smart woman? She deserves someone better, mm. correct? <laughs> welcome to our little... Family of three. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let's go out to eat. Mm? Let's celebrate. All right. It's All a right. happy day. That's worth celebrating. Good. <laughs> Good. Then I'll... Uh, I'm broke. I have money. Let's go. <laughs> Where's Mr. Ma? Shh. Over there. Oh. <laughs> Oh, Jinyue, what's up? Mr. Ma. Yeah? I wonder which group I'll be leading this time. Oh, it's a group cruise on Dreamland of the ocean, okay? Mm. But I really hate ships. Can I please have another group? If it has to be a ship, anyone but Dreamland of the ocean. What's the matter? You've been doing great on that ship. You cause me so much trouble. Fine. I'll check it out. And rearrange things, okay? Hey, great. Thank you, sir. Sorry for the trouble. I'll wait for your call then. Thank you. <laughs> Jeez. Sweetheart. Here. Hey, Jinyue. Here, have some fruit. No thanks, you guys eat it. Huh? You're not eating? I thought you loved fruit. Not hungry. What's wrong? Did something bad happen? Nothing. 
What about you? Did your class go well? Not at all. Yeah, I have been busy recruiting students, but it's not going well. We've only signed a handful of students, which isn't enough to cover our basic expenses. I did the math. If we don't get a lot more students, we'll have to close the studio next year. Those who want to learn don't trust a newly established studio like ours or already have a studio. It's always hard to start business. Eisen has done so much for me, and I'm scared that all his efforts will end up being in vain. We can promote the studio online, like on WeChat, Weibo, and other social media, right? Yeah, I think that's a good idea. And I'll go see if I can find more clients in the parks nearby. I'm free tomorrow. I can go with you. Okay. Then I'll take care of things online. Good. Sounds like a plan. Coming in hot. It's ready. Careful. It's hot. Here, put it's it hot, here. Hot. Wow. Hmm. Smells great. Looks great, too. <laughs> Let's eat. Oh, right, babe. I met a few ladies who were square dancing in the park. And they wanted to hire you to help them improve. You think you can go tomorrow? You free? Square dancing? That's new to me. I'm sure you can do it. But how did you manage to persuade them? Square dancing is a type of dance. I showed them videos of Sumi dancing before, and they were impressed. And then I told them that, that if they had you helping them out, they would place well in their upcoming competition. This sounds great. Mm -hmm. Right? Also, I learned a few moves from them. You want to see them? <laughs> <laughs> well, ready? <laughs> Watch carefully. <laughs> Look at him. He looks like a robot, right? He can't What's dance. Wrong? <laughs> That's how they did it, all right? Here, let me show you the right way. Uh, okay, it's called the crisscross. You got it? Like this. Tilt your head over to the right. Yeah. Then do this. It's like waving two banners at the same time, that's right? right? That's right. Hey, you yeah. girls continue. I'll take this. <laughs> that's how they do it in Northeast China. Uh -huh. Really? Like Hello? this. Hey, brother. Hey, Dinkai. How have you been lately? Doing great. When will you come over and have a drink with me? Soon, you can bring Sumi with you, and we'll hang out together. Oh, I'm calling you because I have something to ask you. Here's the thing. I want to arrange a trip for my mom and Uncle Ju. But I don't know which places would be best for them. You've been to so many places. Can you give me some ideas? But I've only been to the places where we docked with the ship before. You know that, don't you? Do you know someone who's an expert in this area, like a tour guide? Hmm. You should call Hoasai. She's been a tour guide for years, you know. She can help you out. But the problem is I don't know her that well. You want someone you know well, huh? Hmm. Let me think about it. Hey, I got it. Why don't you go ask Mr. John? 
He was a businessman and traveled a lot. Maybe he can give you some good suggestions. And he probably knows what places are suitable for people around his age. Come on, it's not that big of a thing, so I don't think it's proper to disturb Mr. Jiang with such trivialities. Uh, mm, how do we do this? I have to go now, but I'll call you back when I think of someone who can help. Uh, don't hang up. Do me a favor. Isn't there somebody else who happens to be close by now? All right, all right, all right. I get your point. Just hold on. Hey, Tinyue. Yeah? Someone from a beauty salon is looking for you. I don't know them. Huh? Right. A beauty salon? Yeah, they called so you? Hot. Hello, who's this? Hello, miss. It's been a long time since you visited our salon. Something wrong? I'm just joking with you. I wanted to ask you to recommend some travel destinations. Mm, well, if you want somewhere that's close, then I guess Thailand, Vietnam, uh, or Sri Lanka are all good choices. Then if you have time, can you please get some brochures about the countries for me? Oh, uh, of course. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. You're welcome. Have you eaten? How are you doing at your new place? I'm doing great here. I was about to have dinner with my friends here. I have to go now, okay? Bye. Bye-bye. You think Tian Yue likes me? If you really care about Ding Kai, you wouldn't want him to end up like Aisen. The company has rules. They don't allow our crew members and passengers to date. Miss Sue, our tuition fees. Oh, it's fine, ma'am. What's wrong? Not enough? I thought we already agreed on the price. Oh, oh no, ma'am. It's not like this. I'm glad that you trust me so much. So I'll teach oh. you for free. Really? Oh, oh my, that's just wonderful. That's Thank you. <laughs> How about we start the class now? Okay, okay. 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 Let's get started then. All right. All right. Okay, pay attention, everyone. One, your heel. Two, your toe. Three and four, then snap your fingers while turning. Keep your eyes on your left hand. Three, four. You got it? Yes, yes. got it. Let's try it with music then. Mr. Huang, yeah? we have improved the taste of the fish. What do you think? It's impressive. It tastes remarkably better than canned fish you brought me last time. And it's just been weeks. If you're happy with the taste, when do you think we'll sign the contract? <sighs> About that... I'll be honest with you. The market's more complicated than you think now. 
When introducing a new product, we not only need to consider the quality and price, but also how well the market will accept and react to the new product. So the usual and traditional marketing methods are not enough. Do you have online sales channels for your product? If we can combine both online and offline resources, then we can consider launching this product. Otherwise, I'm afraid we can't sign the contract. Truth is... Great minds think alike, Manager Huang. Shall we